Stephanie Nash is a farmer in the state of Tennessee. She joins us to assess. Stephanie, um, you're a dairy farmer. You've got a lot of cows behind you. Um, do you think this would actually work? Would you do it to your cows? Well, Tucker, you know, I'm not going to wear a mask. I'm not going to allow my cows to wear a mask. Um, I'll show yes. you right now what we're dealing with right now. We tried to put one on. So she's not having it. She is struggling no. to oh. breathe. And, you know, it, it, it just doesn't make sense to put a mask on a cow. So what you're saying is that cows have more self-respect than most people in midtown Manhattan on lunch break. Like they're just not going to be masked. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, I mean, you know, I think it's crazy. I'm a big advocate for agriculture and what we do on our dairy farm. Not only are we doing big things to cut emissions, we have ruminants on our farm that can digest byproducts. A good example is we feed our cows soybean mill that comes from soy oil production. And you have to ask yourself, millions of tons per year, if we don't have cows to digest that byproduct, it has to go somewhere. It has to go to a landfill. It has to go on, um, you know, into a waste management. Yes. And that's going to be very harmful. That's going to leave an imprint, um, you know, for our, our country and gas is going into our environment. Well, speaking of byproducts, and I don't want to get too specific here because this is a family show, but you're very familiar with cows. The idea of putting a diaper on a cow, given the daily production of a cow, uh, how, I mean, is that feasible? How big would the diaper be? Is this a joke? I mean, could you do that? Would you do that? Um, yeah, I think these people have gone to Looney Town. There's no possible way that I'm going to put a diaper on my cow. She has to be able to walk around, lay down, eat, drink water. And that's yep. going to make it impossible for her to be comfortable as a cow. You know, our animals are under the best stewardship and we want them to be as comfortable as possible. And telling me how to do my job is not the way to, you know, eliminate emissions. We have to be smart about this. We have to listen to the farmer and rancher and what is best for our animals. I haven't met, I've met a lot of global warming scammers who are getting rich from this stuff. I've never met any.